Good morning, Hurricanes. I'm Sarah Davidson. And I'm Kylie Hendricks. And we're back again with another episode. We are so excited to announce that last Tuesday, all Klein ISD high schools attended the Tommy Toon Awards at the Hobby Center. They had a total of 22 nominations among all five high schools, including Klein, our very own Klein Kane High School with five nominations. Congratulations to all of the students involved. In other news, tryouts for our beloved IAPAS mascot for next year are April 30th to May 4th. All students are free to try out, so come join in on the fun. And now, Kylie. I believe you've been doing some research on the differences between Fortnite and PUBG. Funny you should mention that. Recently, Battle Royale games have been taking the gaming community by storm. Some of the most popular games are Fortnite and PUBG. Fortnite or PUBG? All right, Fortnite. All right, so PUBG sucks. Okay, and you got emotes and like Fortnite, you can build. And you can, like, there's a bunch of uh, um, skins and stuff. You know? Fortnite or PUBG? It's obvious. Fortnite. Why? Because you got emotes and you can dance. You can take the L. You know, um, you can build on like PUBG. Only PUBG has driving. It's lame. Fortnite or PUBG? Uh, I prefer uh, Fortnite. Why? Uh, Fortnite, you can build on um, Fortnite. I think Fortnite is more realistic. You got emotes like the, that one. You got the ill one. Yeah, yeah. Fortnite or PUBG? Fortnite, because you got Draco now. You got Ben Simmons. It's just more popular and like it's free. You have to buy it and like it's just more popular. Yeah, everybody on it, so I'm on it. Although these games are fun, Klein ISD and the staff and teachers here at Klein Cade highly recommend that students don't play these games in the classrooms. Thank you, Kylie. The Saturday before last, Klein ISD held its first annual Klein Talks. You can watch our excellent Klein students' speeches about what they are passionate about on our website. Now to Naya with a look at this week's weather. Thank you, Sarah. Monday through Friday is mostly sunny with some clouds and the temperature continue to stay in the high 80s but will drop down to the low 50s. Saturday there is expected to be some thunderstorms throughout the day. Back to you, Sarah. Thank you, Naya. We at the Kane Live team would like to send out our deepest sympathies to the Bush family. Barbara Bush was an American legend and former first lady who spent her whole life helping others. She passed away on April 17th at 92 years old. She will be missed. Hey guys, I'm Lemmy Dollar back with Turn Back in Time. This week we will start with April 23rd. On this day, William Shakespeare was born in England. He is one of the most influential writers and he created 36 plays and 154 sonnets, including Romeo and Juliet, Hamlet, and The Merchant of Venice. James Buchanan was also born on April 23rd and he was the 15th US President. He was the only lifelong bachelor to occupy the White House and he just served one term. On April 24th, the Library of Congress was established in Washington, D.C which is the world's largest library. About 10,000 new items are added every day in this library. The first modern era genocide in Asia Minor during World War I also began on this day. Armenians were deported from Constantinople and then young Turks were massacred. The first law legalizing abortion was signed on April 25, 1967 by Colorado Governor John Love. Guglielmo Marconi was also born on April 25th in Italy. He invented the radio and pioneered the use of wireless telegraphy in the 1890s. The Chernobyl nuclear power plant exploded on April 26, 1986. This was an accidental nuclear fuel explosion that was 10 times bigger than the nuclear bomb in Hiroshima, which spread a radioactive cloud into the atmosphere and 300 square miles around the plant was evacuated. Even after 30 years, it is dangerous to go near that place without proper protection because of poisonous radiation. Furthermore, multiracial elections were held for the first time in South Africa on April 26, Nelson Mandela was elected president. On April 27, the worst steamship disaster in U.S. history occurred. An explosion aboard the Sultana ship killed nearly 2,000 passengers, mostly soldiers who had been prisoners of war and were returning home. Samuel F. B. Morse, telegraph inventor, and Ulysses S. Grant, the 18th U.S. president and Civil War general, were born on this day, too. Now, going towards the weekend, the 5th U.S. president, James Monroe, was born on April 28th, and he is best known for the Monroe Document, that's it for today, and thank you guys for joining me this week. See you guys next week back on Kane Live. Coming up is the Houston Astros Career Day. It will be hosted at Houston Community College on April 25th at 10 a.m., and the Astros game will be after at 1.10 p.m. Students will be able to learn the importance of continuing education, the value of internships, and the key to success. The price per student is $10. Hey guys, I'm Blake Von Silzer, and today I'm filling in for Thomas for sports. Not much went on this week, but what did happen was pretty big. 
This week, Klein Kane played, played one of our biggest rivals, Klein High School, in baseball and softball. And the game was personal for a lot of people because a large portion of Klein Kane's sophomore students came from Klein High School. The score for the baseball game was 7-2 with a victory from Klein Kane. Klein Kane softball unfortunately lost 5-1 to, to Klein. Good game to both guys and girls. Back to you. And now to talk about what's coming up this Saturday at Wonderlic Farms, right next to Dory Intermediate. Wonderlic Farms will be hosting its Spring Festival, which includes fun things like crawfish boil, games and fitting the historic time period, and even a chance to pet some animals and interact on the farm. We hope to see you there. Well, Hurricanes, that's all we have for you this week. I'm Sarah Davidson. And I'm Kylie Hendricks. We'll see you next week.